So it's about half past seven now and uh, we're just busy cooking uh, the steaks and I'm sure you very much want to see footage of the uh, canoe expedition so <laughs> I won't keep rambling on from the campsite but yeah tomorrow will be a good day. Morning everyone, well it's a pretty reasonable morning. It's going to sound like a weather forecaster now but yeah, light breeze, no rain, <clears throat> breezes from the correct direction and it was a good night. We didn't really get attacked by many midges at all, just a few out. I don't want to also turn this into a, uh, a midge um, forecast but midges are going to be very much part of our day. Just uh, <laughs> coming and uh, saying hello to everyone and uh, Ginger's in his uh, fine gear. <laughs> Ginge there. There's Ginger Mike. Ginger's got to well prepared for everything. And there's the other guys saying hello. Morning everyone. Morning. Morning, 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 morning. So yeah, I'm going to sound like a weather forecaster every time I sign on going there's a light breeze from the right direction. I mean, but, but it's everything we're looking at isn't it? So, anyway, sign off for now. Catch you later. Ginger, we've got a loyal supporter that come to meet us I as well. Alright, let's not overstate it. <laughs> so we're all in pretty good shape. I think about 10 minutes to go we'll be all launching, gonna move some cars back to the car park and we'll be off. I'm going to stop talking about the weather because every time I turn the camera on I'm saying light breeze, no midges. That's it. That's the end of the midge and weather report for the first day. Apart from I might mention it this evening. Catch you later. <laughs> We're on, we're on the water, she floats. How exciting is this? Ginger's ready. Mike's up there at the top. Matt's good. Bid! Jack was trying his best to keep away from you. So not Look at that, straight through the middle. First portage of the day, it's just at the end of 
for the first bit of the canal and quite a slope to get the boats up. Just what we need, found that they've closed the gate to the jetty on this portage bit so we've found a very steep but very narrow bit where we can get the canoes back in but it's going to be a long business um, yeah we're going to have to help individually with each canoe get them loaded and do it in uh, a number of runs which is going to put us back uh, uh, a bit of significant uh, time only only sort of an hour hour and a half or so but uh, something we could have done without at this early point but uh, there we go first obstacle and hopefully the uh, the only one We've had a visit so from, got, uh, uh, from Mike here, he's, uh, <laughs> he's come along to say hello to us to greet us at this portage point and it's really great, look what he's bought us. What a great guy, hello Mike. Hi everyone, <laughs> cheers. Great to see oh, you, you, very much appreciated. Yeah, what about that? I don't, I don't know how many other people have And we're under sail, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so I was trying to manage uh, my £9.99 downwind dash sail. <laughs> and, uh, when the wind gets it, it gives us a good lurch. It's, uh, it's just a bit light and breezy, but I said I wasn't going to talk about the weather. So, uh, <laughs> we're on proper open water now. Uh, left the first portage bit and uh, sort of entered Loch Lucky. This is what it's all about. Well, as you can see, the midges are out in force. <laughs> They're all sitting, uh, doing various camera shots with the midge uh, nets on. Uh, the breeze was really good across the uh, lock and got the sail out and had a really good time uh, with it. But uh, yeah, it's all died down now, very humid. And here are the midges, just getting the camp sorted out. I've uh, managed to cut my finger on the my drone as I did a hand landing <laughs> but uh, it's only superficial that's good and yeah, I've got my Hilleberg Alak 2 tent and I'm looking forward to um, yeah getting a bit of space in that which will be great especially if the midges get uh, much worse uh, it'd be nice to just uh, take a little bit of time out away from them and <laughs> read for a few minutes but it's a lovely little camping spot uh, this sort of shingle beach next to uh, Loch Ocky and yep a few people getting fire together we're going to um, get a really big fire going to hopefully uh, get rid of the midges and uh, then start cooking some food for now i'll just get on with um, making my 
I like two as comfy as possible. Oh, it's nice that. Uh, it's quite warm. <laughs> Got the full bug shirt on now. It's been uh, not a time for filming because uh, the midges were out in force and it was just a case of getting everything out and trying to keep the midges out of the tent uh, whilst uh, blowing up the airbed, getting the sleeping bag in and so on. So uh, <laughs> not much filming of the preparation, but now we've got a fire going, which uh, we're going to really build up and uh, maybe get some moss on it as well to create a bit of smoke, uh, certainly after we've used it for cooking. But uh, next thing is to get, um, there's a, my hood slipping down. Next thing is to get some food on. I've got a cup of tea uh, that I'm very much looking forward to. But it's a lovely spot and uh, as the sun, as the um, light begins to fade, hopefully I'll be able to get rid of this uh, midge net and talk to you properly. And tonight's feast will be a ramen bomb. We've got a ramen kit here, I've got some spam and I've got some smoked applewood bacon mashed potato. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. And there it is already. That's about a litre of a ramen bomb there, so that should do me nicely. <laughs> Let's pour it out. That's what I need. Hmm. <laughs> really good. Well, I don't want this to go cold, so I'll see how much of it I can eat <laughs> and speak to you in a bit. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I mean it's um, yeah, I, it's just a fucking emmets that come down, you know. It's, Jesus Christ, I'm going to be hammered. <laughs> Good morning everyone, well look at that. Slept like a log last night, but well, we were all pretty tired I think, which is good. Got the fire trough set up now, I'm going to put the trangia burner in it and uh, make a cup of tea. I've got a dehydrated meal for my breakfast. So that's the end of fresh food until the end of the challenge, but uh, it should be good. Excellent, I'll get on with it. Well that's us on the way to begin day two. Very exciting, we've got a really good following wind so we're going to do a bit of sailing today. And yeah, I've uh, got my waterproofs on. <laughs> There's a bit of a, I don't know, you'd call it a swell, but you know, a little bit less smooth than yesterday. So I'm very excited about uh, trying out the sail. So anyway, this is just great. We're, um, we're under sail and it's working really well. We've got a nice little push from behind and Simon's got the sail attached to his buoyancy aid. So if we get a gust, he's going with it. <laughs> but it's great fun. It just makes the paddling more of a sort of steering job rather than uh, power. And uh, if we can keep a sort of a gentle breeze like this going, then we just we're laughing. We just got quite a lot of rain yesterday and uh, the wind didn't quite know what it was going to do but I'm starting to turn into a weather forecaster again. But, uh, yeah, let's go. We're at the second portage. We've finished Loch Lochie and so it was a great paddle. Uh, wind behind us, got the sails out and did four miles in uh, no time really. And we've got a short portage now over to a bit of a canal after it, and then we're into Loch Oich and making good progress. I'll speak to you later. Have you got any gear up here, Matt? Just stand there. Yeah. 
great. Just joined the canal again after the portage at Loch Lochy. Had a bite to eat. And we're all on our way again. Nearly mentioned the weather then. <laughs> this one, I had a bit of a moment this morning when I tipped two litres of water into my barrel, which got a lot of my gear wet. And uh, So I had a very silent half hour. And then uh, all is well with the world again. I'll do. Well, that was a bit of excitement. We just stopped at a part of the canal which was covered in sort of lily pads and it looked very fishy and Rick went straight over to them and within second was into a nice little jack pike so we followed him and uh, very shortly afterwards I caught one myself which I'm very chuffed about so uh, <laughs> that's beaten the blank And onwards so just still making our way between Loch Lochy and Loch Oik um, it's the canal but it's just opening up a bit now at the, fr at the front um, it might actually I don't know whether there's a portage it might actually be Loch Oik itself that we're in yeah we're on Loch Oik now actually yeah so uh, yeah I thought there was a portage between the canal and Loch Oik, but now we're on it, so we're motoring along, making really good progress. It's just, it's great fun. We're at the next camp spot, we've just uh, finished Loch Lochy now. Uh, we found a camp spot and then we're going to look for another one and uh, we got a bit of miscommunication between the group we're about 300 yards 400 yards apart from each other and uh, some of us have pitched tents here and some of us uh, about 400 yards up so we'll form a splinter group tonight well it's the evening of day two really good paddle made uh, excellent progress we've got to the end of Loch Oik here and so the next place will be to go to um, Fort Augustus uh, through um, a little bit of canal and then uh, into Loch Ness so we're on schedule which is great good weather at the moment and we've set up um, myself and Simon in the splinter group <laughs> about 700 meters from the other guys which isn't a problem we're just about to go and uh, meet them and have a bite to eat around the fire and then yeah make tracks tomorrow we're um, yeah really enjoying it it's one of those things that uh, I didn't know whether it was uh, my thing at all I've never done anything like this in my life and I'm thoroughly enjoying every moment of it the sail when the <laughs> when we get the wind behind that is great it just uh, keeps the thing uh, really going and you have to, have to do any paddling and just do a little bit of steering from the back but for now we're going to get a fire going now um, just in case the midges come out it's a good bit of breeze but anyway to counteract those we'll get a good smoky fire going and get some food on and tonight's meal is Adventure Meals, it's a dehydrated meal, pad thai with chicken. Got some of uh, Mr. Fox Flying Foods venison chorizo. So I've got some food that's not just dehydrated. I'm gonna use a wrap and uh, have a pad thai wrap, which is a new thing for me, but I think I'll like it. Let's see how this looks then. Yeah, looks okay. Pile some on this wrap here. Just going to make a sort of parcel of it, really. Here we 
go. Really good. Yep, can't go wrong with that. Matt very kindly rescuing our canoe, which just decided to uh, dislodge itself and <laughs> take its trip down Loch Oik. God, that would have meant a swim for us if uh, Matt hadn't been here. Well, we don't trust them on their own, so we're walking down the path to uh, meet the rest of the team. See how they're doing, have a sit by the fire. And uh, yeah. Give it half an hour and then I'll be ready for my bed again. You said you only the her cuts. I'll give you a short back and side. <laughs> oh man, miles away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, didn't even see where that oh. Um, <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> slingshot. The it's a great lens yeah, slingshot. The yeah, there yeah. we go, yeah. <laughs> and it's Simon, a bloke in the woods. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Are you happy about that? <laughs> Speech. Speech. Let me just. Uh... Oh yeah. Hey, hey good man. You got to smell, smell it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's us for another night. We'll see you in the morning. But just had a great walk back from uh, the others, and we saw this fallow deer, and it seemed absolutely fearless <laughs> I got it really close to it and uh, yeah quite a big uh, beast so yeah good bit of wildlife to uh, <laughs> end the day with we'll see you in the morning And here we are folks, beginning of day three. I'm in the front of the canoe this time because we're gonna do, uh, I think, the I can't remember the name of the river, but it's the one that comes out of here, Loch Oik, and runs into Loch Ness. It parallels with the Caledonian Canal. But uh, we're gonna take a look at the river and just see um, what the flow's like because um, I'm pretty inexperienced and we've got a very full canoe, so we'll make a sensible decision. But Simon's really experienced uh, canoeing, so um, at the back, you actually are more in control of the canoe, you, you, you can steer it an, an awful lot easier. And so, uh, yeah, uh, Simon's gonna be in the back, and uh, I'm here at the, uh, the helm with Nessie. <laughs> so uh, we're on our way for the beginning of day three. We'll see you later. So this is where the River Oik and the canal uh, are the choices at the end of Loch Oik here. And Rick and his boat partner, his son Jack, have gone to take a look at the uh, river and see what the uh, sort of rapid conditions are like, whether it can take these canoes with all the loading we've got on them. Plus a very inexperienced canoe here. But uh, I'm happy to go with the flow. Literally. And, uh, <laughs> with, uh, literally. <laughs> boom, boom. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what the next few minutes uh, has for us.
Morning everyone, day three, we've just done a grade two rapids on the River Oi, which is brilliant fun. Took on a lot of water, so we're just bailing out at the moment. And, wow, well, just, I can't get over what fun that was. <laughs> I was pretty apprehensive at first, but once you're getting into it, just brilliant. Well, we're just about to launch for the second bit of the first part of uh, day three. Still on the River Oi, we've had a brilliant time just chilling out on the riverbank here. We've been flying with drones, been taking pictures, we've been uh, reporting to you guys on Instagram, and it just couldn't be better. Just <laughs> cheesy grins all around. We've got uh, a few more rapids ahead of us, nothing like Gordon's we've just come through back there, but uh, I just love it. Just loving it. Report to you back later. Entrance to Loch Ness. <laughs> <laughs> 